Today is the big day that I start the road trip and before I go, it's first thing in the morning here and I'm in Molo. This is the Molo mansion. Got the Molo church there, the plaza. Beautiful place. I uh, was contacted by a couple subscribers in town. They're gonna be down here for coffee before I head out on the road. And this is always so beautiful. Every time I come here, like look at that. And it's free to the public, by the way. You can come in here anytime. And of course they have these restaurants and everything. And at night, much, much more beautiful. Anyway, he's around here somewhere because I'm the one that's technically a few minutes late. You find the coffee. Did you find coffee? Yeah, it's right next door. Oh, you, you like sitting here better? Well, those seats hurt my butt. Yeah, it's all right. Are going to go on a video? Yeah, just say hello. Hey, hey how's it going, guys? All right, there's the beast. Lots of wind right now. Hopefully it's not bothering anybody. Anyway, so there's the beast. I'm heading out. That meeting went a lot longer than I expected. Oh, they're learning uh, how to fight with sticks over there. How cool is that? Anyway, look at this. Look at this, isn't it so cool? Once again, Frank and Fell, true legends. This is amazing. Sorry about the bird poop. I didn't have anything to do with that. Wow, I just went through like as long as traffic unbelievable just trucks lined up forever i sat in that thing for over an hour and then i kept driving obviously another 45 minutes to potota and, and wow so i'm already taking my first break highway 037 i've been here before these guys are so cool i have to crouch to get in here i'm just gonna have a coffee just keep going and then after that i think i'm gonna go the whole way to rojas city it, it said three hours on my gps but it seems to be uh, a lot of it's just that traffic back there. We'll see. It should only be about two hours with a car middle of the day like this. Hello, hello. How are you again? All right. You're back. I am back. I arrived. Oh my God, there was so much road construction, but I finally got here, thankfully. I am staying at this place. You recognize that? This is the Veronica Hotel. I did a whole episode here because they let me do a tour. And uh, they have a cool pool up here, like fabulous rooms or whatever, it's really cool. Not getting the crazy rooms that I showed, that's for sure. But anyway, um, I'm looking forward to staying down here because I couldn't stay here last time. Uh, but we're in the heart of everything. Right across the street is Robinson uh, Mall, so like everything is close by. And once again, that badass truck. How cool is that? Anyway. Trying to find my reservation. Everybody remember who this is? This is Edna. Say hello, Edna. Hello. Hello. Welcome. What was your name again? I've seen this, sir. She's right on the cover handing me uh, a beer Hi. in the last episode. Just finished your shift? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, she just finished. There we go. Anyway, just waiting for a luggage cart because I have way too much stuff. I brought lots of this time because of the live that we're going to do Sunday, by the way. So if you are in Roja City, come down to Bit Toys, 10 a.m. Uh, right on the beach. Do a live broadcast you can join or you can just watch i don't care whatever you want to do or just join on youtube because why not i got a crazy level of service here two girls helping me uh bring my stuff to my room oh, cool all right i gotta tell you my room number because i'm here for a couple of days and then i'm going to do another one that i uh, couldn't book because of the chinese new year everything's kind of hooked up right now but uh i had to move uh, two nights here two nights at another place oh it's already open Ta da! Oh, look at Edna's waiting for me. Look at yes, how cool that is. Course. There you go. Of we got the bedroom, everything. Oh, it's a just corner. We're just, just checking your room. Oh, make sure everything everything's good. Is, see this? Oh, is that brand new? Capis. Oh, Capi shells. shells. Very nice. Very yes. nice. Let's see. Let's see. I got a corner here. Look at that. There's the Robinson Mall. Oh, that's hot. And uh, a <laughs> corner unit is great. I think I, this is the room I showed last time, I swear. I love it. I love it. The pool here, though. That's the fun part. All right, here we go. The pool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have not been able to work out because of the stupid foot. Yes, it's getting better. Those that keep asking. Um, and uh, I appreciate it, by the way. Um, so best way is to swim. I can't run. Can't even wear running shoes. Can't do push-ups because it pushes down there on my toe. So yeah. Look at this though, it's so beautiful out right now. River's right there. 
beautiful mountains. Tells Jesus in the world. Nice streets, everything. This is beautiful. This area is called Pueblo de, P de Panay. Um, it's like a big mega project if you haven't seen my other videos. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of a pool time here before I head out down to the beach, find something to eat and drink and all that good stuff. Uh, the adventure, by the way, I know people are like, wait, this is supposed to be an adventure. It will be, it will be. But for now, I just got here. One thing at a time. There we go. Now I get a good idea. That's a good thing about driving is I get to figure, figure out how long it takes to get from one end to the other. So all the way from my hotel to the beach during peak rush hour, 17 minutes. So that's that's perfect. I've been here before, but it's been a while. This is called uh, Shack Coffee and Boards. This place is beautiful also, right across from the San Antonio Resort. And it's like a chill vibe kind of place. I haven't eaten today. So I'm gonna get some food, but yeah, if you're like one of those kneeling type people, well, you're gonna love this because they got all the, you know, the kneeling pad things. But to me, look at this. Look at these couches and everything. And they just look right out to the water. I've been lucky and got them before. There we go. Look at this beautiful beach. It's absolutely enormous. As you guys know, I don't know what these guys are doing. I thought they were lifeguards for a minute there, but uh, no. And actually, I think I know, recognize that one guy. I think that's the counselor. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see if, I don't remember his name. Ah, oh, I should remember people's names better, but. Hey, hey, how are you? There's the counselor. <laughs> Listen, I was like, you could, I could recognize you from the back of you, okay? He's like a giant around here, right? And I don't just mean politically. I, I don't get involved in politics. Anyway, how are you? How are you? Very good, very I, good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Huh? Look Welcome at this back. beautiful view. I know. Thank you. I'm here for Chinese New Year. Oh, and, uh, it's going to be something. And yeah. then after that, I'm going up the coast and I'm going to explore, go all the way to Estancia, everything, go all the way down. I'm making it at least 10 days. Great. It's going to be great. Go. We're go. all the hot women. That's what I want to know. <laughs> Tell me. Well, Where's that provincial know, town full of there's the no men? That's the hottest one right there, my wife. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> if you were not you, <laughs> is it too dangerous to answer still? I'd probably stay on the beach. Stay on probably the beach. Probably see one or two. One or two? Come on. Per square meter. <laughs> per square meter, that's better, that's better. What's going on here? So we're setting up a beach tennis for tomorrow. Oh, okay. These are the Baywatch team. Wow, they, you know, I've seen Baywatch and they go around. where's David Hasselhoff and where, where is that? What's her name? What's her name? Come on, help me out here. The Canadian girl. Oh my gosh, how do I not? Pamela Anderson. Do you Pamela have Pamela Anderson, Anderson joining? <laughs> no, no they're mostly, mostly guys. Oh, it's all guys. Oh, well, that's okay. The girls out there, you'll enjoy this, okay? You'll enjoy this. Anyway, so the game is tomorrow? Yeah, we're uh, playing tomorrow around 4 p.m. Drop by. There we uh, go. Well, I am. Um, where am I at 4 p.m. tomorrow? I'm not sure where I am. I'm all over tomorrow, so we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday, I'm down here at Bit Toys. I'm doing a live broadcast. Okay, okay. And people are asked to come and join. They can join in on the live. There'll be people from all over the world on nice. it. Nice. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you guys tune in. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Sunday. Now, this is the life. Totally, absolutely the life. That's why. I keep thinking, I gotta get a place on the beach here. And I was just talking to him and he's like, oh yeah, you probably find somebody to rent you out one of their houses. They're just OFWs or they've just been in another country for so long. and They just have a caretaker. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. So uh, yeah, it is a big, big potential that one day, I'm sorry guys, I'll have to wake up and look at this every single day. Uh, this area in, in Rojas, it is 30 meters, it's 20 or 25 plus five. So technically, that's why everybody's got their concrete back there. You can build bamboo or whatever all the way out, anything, that they call it light material. Um, so you can put all that out as far as you see people doing now, but you can't put your house like right over there or anything like that. So yeah, but he said you can lease from the DNR um, 
the extra space. So if you want an extra 10 meters or whatever, you can lease that from the natural resources for X amount of years. Um, so you can own the land, but you have to keep paying this lease in order to have uh, permanent structures further in. So there is a way, he said, uh, but it, you know, he's like, if you don't want to pay the extra, just put it closer to the road. So there you go. Every place is a little bit different. It depends on uh, the current zoning of an area. Usually cities, like if you go to Manila or Cebu, they, you'll notice there's like casinos right on the water. And that's because a major city and like an urbanized heavy duty city um, is allowed to do up to three meters. So they'll just have like a wall and a sidewalk and go, you know, really wide esplanade sort of thing. And then a building, that's how they do it. So it's not the same everywhere, rural areas, everything else changes. Check this out. He's like busy shucking over here. And uh, so, yeah, this is May, by the way. Hi. But Counselor, what's your last, what's your name? Wards Viterbo. Oh, Wards. Viterbo. Yeah. Everybody always has to use every name in the Philippines. <laughs> I ask people what their name is and they give me like three names. And I'm like, no, no, just my name is Michael. <laughs> Not three names. It's, it's a Filipino thing. Yep. It's like everybody wants you to look you up on Facebook afterwards, I think. Ah, yeah, look at this. This is the view. Oh my gosh. It, so he just opened this little bar up right beside it. And it's also got a boat ramp for his boat so that he can just take it right out, which is really cool. And yeah, so it's it's one year now, right? Uh, a little... Approximately. Yeah, almost a year. And what's the name of it? The Barracuda. The Barracuda. There you go. The Barracuda. <laughs> That's where we are right now. I just It's right next door. I just moved right over. Um, and I've already been called out to another place. So I'm going to be going to the Oriental Kitchen uh, very soon, okay. 7.30 or something. Uh, so it's busy night, busy night. So Edna from the hotel has invited me to the Orient, okay. Oriental Kitchen. Yeah, Oriental Kitchen. Oriental Kitchen. And look how beautiful it is. I only quickly took a glance at it last time I was here. And, but then uh, I said, okay, I had to do it when I come back. So I'm going to come back. But look how swanky it is in here, okay? Um, yeah, this is so nice. And so it's like separated. Oh, this is Juliet. Hello, Juliet. Nice to meet you. And look at how beautiful this place is. I, I was just like, I, okay, I like the Lazy Susans. Look at that, if you're having a big meal. So it's separated into three different yes. types of food. Chinese, Japanese, and this is Korean. Your choice. I would probably so have beautiful. a mix. Well, yeah, oh yeah, I guess we could probably, because it's not like the, it's a different kitchen. Um, the cool thing about this is you cook your own food over there. I love Korean. And, uh, and then of course, Japanese is where you're gonna get like the sushi and everything else. Yeah. So what do I feel like? Korean barbecue. I love Korean barbecue. Okay. Let's do Korean barbecue. Okay, let's have Korean barbecue. Because we can still have Chinese if you want. Okay, okay. I like that, I like that as a lot. And obviously the Korean barbecue, every time I come here is the popular one. There is people in the Japanese now too. You gotta check this place out though. Like there's a whole, two others. There's a Saigon, so a Vietnamese food, and then a Filipino. And right beside this place too. So I got I got the menu here, and yes. the happy hour is a uh, minimum of two orders per set, and then um, so yeah, so you got to have um, another person. Can't come alone to get this happy hour deal, but it's unlimited. Um, there's a different lunch price and there's a dinner price. The dinner price starts at three o'clock at night, or in the afternoon. Sorry, um, if you get pork then it's 410 pesos. Pork and chicken, 475. And beef, chicken, and pork is 585. And so that's like unlimited, you know, you cook it and everything else. Look at this, delicious, delicious. I got beef, I got chicken here, and no bones. No bones in my chicken. Lots of rice, you know, I'm not gonna touch that. I got a soup here though, amazing. I still have a lot of pork here too. Look at you, you she, she cheated. She went to Japanese over there, she got ramen. And yeah, she's got some good. salmon, yeah. uh, salmon, salmon sushi. Salmon sushi. So yeah, everything's looking wonderful. This is the most delicious looking soup I've had in a long time. It's so hot though. I feel like I'm gonna burn my face off. Good. That's so good. So rich. 
watermelon shake. I've been having mango shakes, all that stuff, but not watermelon. It, it tastes like a watermelon. Like I'm eating a watermelon. Not too sweet at all. No, it tastes natural. I've been eating so much meat. I'm getting my money's worth uh, times 10. No problem. Let's take about the 580 pesos or whatever. I got all three. I made sure I got my money's worth. So good though. So good. I'm such a meat eater. I'm so full, but Edna here, <laughs> trying to guilt me. She's like, listen, I took you out for dinner, okay? Because you, you made a video of my hotel. And so, uh, look at this. I don't eat normally dessert, but this is mango tapioca. It's enormous. That's good for one, apparently. Um, but I, I, uh, I said I don't really want any, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try this much. This is my contribution. Oh, that is good, eh? God. Can't eat it though. You know what they say? A minute on your lips, <laughs> lifetime on your hips. No, the beautiful thing about Frank and Phil letting me use their truck, it means I can carry all of my equipment with me to properly edit a video without being missing anything. I literally have my sound system, I have everything. There's my big screen TV. I've got it all, I've got it all. Not much in today's video, I get it. There's so much more to come, much more adventure type stuff coming. So uh, stay tuned guys, tomorrow. Let's see if we can find, I gotta check my foot, but let's even go find some caves maybe. If not, I'll just put it off for a couple of days because I have some time here and I'll go do the caves another time uh, while, I'm, while I'm on this trip. If my foot can handle the hike. That's the key. All right, guys, I hope you're subscribed and uh, thank you to the members. If you're not a member and you want to become a member, it's the join button right beside uh, subscribe. It's a couple bucks a month, helps the channel. Don't have to. I just appreciate you guys all subscribing and watching. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. I'm going to meet up with several of my friends here in Festwalk for dinner again. And I thought, okay, well, I should be fine. I'll leave at four o'clock. I'm sure it'll be okay. Oh my gosh, no. The traffic is already terrible and this event will technically start when it gets dark out. So, a couple hours, check this out. It is complete standstill. I sat in a taxi for a very long time 